All right. Hey, I am Jody Matoma and I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And today I'm going to show you what sold between the dates of March 1st and March 15th of 2020. So we'll just jump right into it without skipping a beat. So here's the first sale that came in. So you'll notice it's on March 2nd, which means March 1st I had zero sales. And there's quite a few of those, so get ready for that. <laughs> but uh, March 2nd I sold this Panhandle Slim casual button down and it went for 15. I would have got that, I think at the Goodwill bins for about, you know, 25, 30 cents. Next on the list is this sold on my Poshmark Canadian account. So as you can see, if you see Posher Club North, it, that's the Canadian account. And then if you look here, Posher Club, that's my US account. So I just recently started my uh, my Canadian account and I'm starting to cross list all my listings over. I have about 700 active on the US side. And then right now I have about 300 active on my Canadian side. So slowly but surely I'm getting everything cross listed over. I'm getting like five or 50 to 100 things across the sit every day. So this sold. Um, I, I, I got this at the like a, a thrift store. I can't remember which one, but uh, you know Valley Village or, or Goodwill or something like that. And I think I I think I paid 5.99 or 4.99 Canadian, and it sold for 20 Canadian. And so just for comparison, that would be about that. I think that it would be about 15 dollars US, 15 16 bucks US. And then on March 3rd, this sold. I this is a kid size, I think. No. Hold on. No, this is a woman small. I wonder, I forget. I think this, I got this at the Goodwill bin, bins as well. Um, yeah, because I don't pick up the cost anymore because it's just too plain and boring for me. But because it was at the Goodwill bins, I did pick it up. And so that would have cost me about, you know, 60 cents, 70 cents, something like that. And it sold for 18, which is not bad. Um, and again, on the third, there was a second sale. And this is the Harley Davidson casual button down. If you, if you check the description here, you'll notice that there was a flaw. And the last photo right here, it's hard to see, but there's like some a cut, I don't know, some sort of cut in it. And so I got 20 for that. Otherwise, this probably would have went for like 40 or so. So 20 US for that. Uh, March 4th, there were no sales. And so this is March 5th. There was one sale and this is it here. It's a starter um, hoodie. It's a very long hoodie too. Uh, yeah, look how long that is. And this one for 18 bucks, so that's pretty sweet. I got this at the Google bins as well, so probably about 60, 70 cents. And then, what was that, March 5th? So March 6th and 7th, there were no sales. Mm -mm -mm. And so March 8th, this sold. And this I got this at my at the uh, local Goodwill bins. I would have probably paid about 80, 90 cents for that. And I got this the last time I went to the bins. So I thought that was a nice pickup. Definitely worth picking up at the bins. And yeah, it went for 15 bucks US. And then the next, um, so that was the 8th. The 9th, there were no sales. And then the 10th, this sold. So this is uh, March 10th. This is a Stussy or Stussy. I forget which one it is. Stussy, I think. But uh, it's a casual button down. I had this for a long time. And I think I got this at the Goodwill bins. Actually, I might have paid, I might have got this at a thrift store um, over a year ago. And I might have paid like $4.99, $5.99 Canadian for it and sold it for 8 bucks. So that was a bad, like look, 18 likes, but nobody was biting on it. Like I'm pretty sure I had this priced at, at at least 25 bucks at first and just kept dropping and dropping and dropping. And somebody offered 8 bucks and I just took it because... So no money was made there basically, but I got my money back at least, uh, eight bucks US. So on that same day, which was uh, March 10th, I sold this on my Canadian account, Posture Club North, and I sold that for $25 Canadian, which would be about 20, 20, 21 dollars US. So that's a great, uh, that's a great sell right there for a hat. So gone fishing, be back at dark 30. Um, and so I got this at the Google bins the last time I went to the bins as well. So I would have paid about 10 cents for this hat and sold for 25 Canadian dollars. So not bad. Look, no likes even. They just bought it outright. Didn't even send an offer or anything like that. And then finally on the March of the 10th, <laughs> March um, March 10th, this was the final sale of the day. Somebody uh, bundled six things and offered 35 and I definitely accepted that. Uh, 35 US. This is on my US account again. And I have a 5 for 25 sale going on on many, many things that I have had for at least a year to two years now. And so they bundled you know, four of those and then added a couple more things and they offered 35 So definitely took that. And then on March 11th, March 12th, March 13th, all zero sales days. And then on to updated one day ago which would be March 14th yesterday this finally sold had this for over a year and a half as well lululemon is incredible um, I love selling lululemon however tank tops are a no-go like I will not pick up lululemon tank tops 
tank tops anymore unless they find it at the Goodwill bins, which I don't think I picked this up at the Goodwill bins. Like, I don't even know if this is called a tank top. Is it called a dress? I don't know because it's, as you can see down here, it's not. But anyway, finally sold for 14 bucks, which is, I'm, I'm happy with. I can't even remember what I bought this for. It probably would have been about five or six bucks again at a thrift store. And I mean, I don't know. I thought this would go for more, but I mean, it's a nice piece for sure but 14 bucks us for that and then this is uh earlier today four hours ago this versace 1969 v italia so this is the lower end brand of versace it's not the higher end you know what everybody's used to so don't you know i sold it for 12 and that's reasonable because this is a lower end um you know lower end so uh, i wore this a couple times so that was cool and sold it for 12. um I actually got this at the Google bins. I found two of these Versace 1969, whatever. Uh, I found two of them. One of them had newer tags, but it had a couple stains on it. It was white, but the, the stains were tiny, and you could probably just bleach them out. And that one already sold uh, weeks and weeks ago, but this one sold today, so that's cool. So I would have paid, you know, 20 cents for this and the other one as well. Um, and then the last thing that was that sold so far today was this, and uh, it's 3:49. Uh, sorry, 3:3. Three, three, it's 3.37 p.m. right now, so there might be more sales, which would be awesome. But then again, there might not be more sales because I've gone many days with zero sales. So I'm not expecting to have a day with three sales all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, this Game of Thrones uh, hoodie here, it's been up in the closet for at least a year now. It's a really cool, it's a really cool hoodie. Um, and it went for 15 bucks. Um, of course, the price was higher at first. And it, like I said, it's been over a year. And... Uh, Looks like it's got some pretty cool um, it's pretty cool but yeah I went for 15 bucks and that was the final thing to sell for today um, so yeah I did all the calculations I put everything all together so between March 1st and March 15th I had sold a total of 202 US dollars worth and that would be translated over into 280 bucks Canadian and then keep in mind you have to take away 20% fees for Poshmark which would be about 56 bucks Canadian in fees. So I made about 230-ish dollars or so, something like that, over the past 15 days. Um, so not the greatest, definitely not the greatest, and uh, but better than nothing. So that's everything there. I hope, I hope you guys are having great sales, um, despite the virus. But uh, yeah, stay well, everybody, and uh, wash your hands, and uh, yeah. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care for now. Thanks for watching and stay well. Alright, bye guys.